from CNBC show The Profit. Joining us right now is Marcus. And Marcus, for show and tell, what are some tips you're giving small businesses right now? And so anytime I meet a business owner, a small, medium, or large business owner, I really want them to focus on three things, people, process, and product. And you know, we just talked about people for a minute. People are the most important part of any business. That's the one part of the capital structure that you need to have right. You need to have them incentivized with the right pay plan. They need to understand they're important. And quite frankly, you need to hire people that are smarter than you. When you move on to the product side of things, you want to make sure that you have a product that's relevant, product or service that's relevant, that's priced properly, that, that people actually want to come back for. And then last, and, and maybe most importantly from a cash perspective is, you want to have the right process in place. Too often I'm finding people that don't know their numbers and they don't manage their cash and they don't manage their expenses. And so when I look at how one of the reasons why businesses fail is they don't have a good grasp on their numbers. They don't have a good grasp on how much cash they have and how much cash it takes to run a business. And so anytime I make an investment in a business, and I have an investment in over 100 businesses around the country, I always tell them there has to be some significant oversight over the numbers and cash. And so what I did is I teamed up with Inc. from Chase and I put in their system in all of my businesses where I can monitor not only what they're spending, but who's spending it, where they're spending it, why they're spending it. And yes, I get some rewards for doing it that way, but for me it's always about oversight and knowledge and teaching them how to do it. And you know, people get involved in businesses for different reasons, but you got to know that you're getting involved for the right reason. Well, that certainly makes sense. When it comes to cash flow and working capital, which one is more important to you? You know, cash flow to me is, is important, but working capital from the beginning is also important. I find that people come to me with a projection about their business. It's a brand new idea. They think they're gonna make money in six months. They don't make money in six months and they don't have a backup plan. They don't have a reserve. They don't have a line of credit. And so they go out of business and that's, Probably the single biggest reason small businesses close, not because the idea is terrible, not because they have bad people, they don't have the sufficient amount of working capital. Well, I learn something new each show, the importance of working capital, but a phrase we often hear is, follow your passions. What do you think about that? I say follow your passion, which should be sports. I say if you have a passion for business, you also better have a knowledge for it. And so if people want to own a business, they better have worked for somebody else for a while and they better have an intrinsic knowledge of that industry. And so it would be like me getting into, you know, the barber business and I never went to learn how to cut hair. I should have a knowledge. If I don't have the knowledge, <clears throat> then I better have a partner or I better have a manager or a leader in place who's vested in the business who does have a knowledge. And so three guys want to open up a restaurant because they think it's cool to open up a restaurant, but none of them know how to cook or wait tables. They shouldn't be in that business. Well, Marcus, that's certainly great advice. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to tuning into your show on CNBC called The Profit. Thanks so much. Have a great day.